this is the second video in our series of tutorials about how to use ImageJ. In this video, we are going to capture a field photograph, scale the field photograph by determining the scale and setting scale in ImageJ. We are going to measure canopy width, and we are also finally going to measure canopy area. So these are our materials for taking overhead shots for canopy images. Uh, right here we have a Sony DSC WX350. We have a Samsung Galaxy tablet. And then we have a Fujitech FT568 selfie stick. Um, there's a certain amount of flexibility in what exactly you use. But the important thing is that the, um, the camera has connectivity to the Samsung Galaxy. We use a program in order to connect to them, and it's the Play Memories app. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble everything. Let's see how it works. It has a little screw, you just screw it on the bottom, the selfie stick. Um, you can unloosen these, get it up good and high. Okay, uh, it's also important that you turn it on and then keep this out of the way because it'll get in the middle of the shots. And it's a very important thing. Um, so then you go to menu, wireless, and then control smartphone. Um, and then you also do this on the tablet. And then you bring it up and set it up. And then after you've selected that, you want to select the um, app. Now if you notice, on top of the bed, there is a ruler. That is how we scale the bed, is we take a few different pictures um, on top of the bed. We have to figure out how much of the shoulder is uh, included in the overhead shots. So I just took three pictures of this ruler right here. If you have multiple different plots with multiple different scales, you might have to do this at the beginning of the season with every research plot that you have in order to get it scaled properly. In order to determine the scale to use an image J, after you have captured your ruler image, you will need to first open the file. Go to File, Open, and navigate to where the file is located. On many computers, you can also drag and drop. Um, these three images were taken at slightly different angles, and we are going to average them together in order to get a scale that we can use for our other images. Go ahead and select the straight line tool. Um, now we're going to draw a line to an object of known size. Um, in this case, the meter stick works just fine for that. Um, so we're going to actually do a trick. We're going to say Command Shift plus to make the image zoom in where the cursor is. Then we're going to do the same thing, command minus. And then we're going to do command plus again with the cursor on the bottom of the meter stick. It just makes it easier to draw accurately from one point to the next. Then we're going to go to analyze, set scale. We're going to change the known distance to 100 unit of length to centimeter. We're going to leave global unchecked um, in this case because when we check the global box it makes the same scale apply to all the images um, after this one until image J is quit or a new scale is set. In this case we're going to be scaling each image individually so we're going to leave it unchecked so we're going to click OK. Alright now we're going to do command minus so we can see more of the image again and we're going to draw across the width of the bed perpendicular to the edge of the bed 
which is not parallel to the um, ruler in this case, so just be aware of that. Okay, um, now we're going to go to um, analyze set measurements. Um, we're going to make sure that everything's unchecked. Um, I guess it would probably be fine if some things were checked, but in this case we just want the length, and so we're going to leave that uh, everything blank. Click OK. Um, and now we're going to go to Analyze and Measure. Um, another thing you can do for this is you can also just do um, Command M, and that will also do the same thing. Um, now we have a length over here of 79.086. I'm just going to um, record that in my handy dandy um, Excel document that I have set up over here. Um, this is image 3, so I'm going to put it in for image 3, 79.086. There we go. I'm going to close without saving. Then we're going to do the same thing for the next one. This is image 2. 9.223 close without saving changes in this case the ruler is partially off the grid so we are going to zoom in and set it up at the 90 mark and then for image one we have 78.877 then we're going to calculate the average And that is how you can find the scale for a bed. If the bed width is consistent across sections, this scale can be used for all sections. If the bed width varies a lot between sections, it might be a good idea to mark the bed where you want it scaled and to record the scale for each section. In order to scale your images when you know the scale of your beds, first open the file. This is an overhead photograph of strawberry plants. After your file is open, select the straight line tool in the ImageJ graphical user interface and draw a line to an object of known size, in this case the bed width. Go to Analyze, Set Scale to set the scale of the line you just drew. Known distance in this case is 71.12 centimeters. Um, we're going to leave global unchecked and click OK. And then that's how you scale an image when you already know the scale. In order to measure canopy width after the image has been scaled, select an average size plant and draw a line to the canopy in the widest direction using the straight line tool. We're going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> This looks pretty average, um, I guess, that, and then just control M, and then that gives you the length of the strawberry plant. In order to measure the canopy area after you've already set scale, you're going to want to go to Image, Adjust, Color Threshold to separate the canopy from the background. Um, you're going to want to adjust the color threshold parameters, which include hue, saturation, and brightness. Hue is a color appearance parameter which describes pure spectrum colors. The hue range of 50 to 100 works for most images of this kind. Um, saturation and brightness vary somewhat more depending upon the quality of the image. Um, it seems to work okay. I'm going to click select. And then we are going to go to process binary make binary to convert the image to a black and white. We are going to use the paintbrush tool in order to remove large clusters of pixels that do not belong to the object of interest. Uh, we're going to double click um, brush width of 50, color white, um, we're going to leave paint on overlay unchecked, click OK. There we go. 
just get in the big clusters in this case, which were weeds before. And then in order to get the um, small clusters of pixels, we are going to go to um, process, noise, remove outliers. Uh, we're going to click the preview button so we can kind of see what we're doing. We're going to want to select the radius that can remove outliers without deleting a significant portion of the canopy. Um, we can increase the radius if outliers are not removed and decrease the radius if part of the canopy is removed. Um, in this case, a radius of 8 and a threshold of 50 and um, outliers dark um, seems to work okay. So we're going to click OK. Next, we are going to go to um, Analyze Set Measurements. And in this case, we want area. And we want to limit it to the threshold. And then click OK. Um, and then we're going to measure. So Control M. Uh, in order to determine the canopy cover per plant, we're going to want to divide the um, data by the number of plants in the image. You can either estimate the number of plants per image by the bed length of the image, or you can erase the plants which are only partially within the image and divide by the whole plant number. It is more accurate to divide by the whole plant number if the plants are distinct from each other. Uh, if you want, you can go ahead and um, record the result in our handy dandy Excel document. 438.677 um, and then if you want you can also save a copy you go to file save as and then choose the extension you want in this case I want TIFF um, and then go ahead and save all right that concludes our second video tutorial about measuring the width and canopy area thank you so much for watching and um, Hopefully we'll have some more movies for you soon.